Hi guys, welcome to yet another episode of Grammatics. Those friends who are viewing it for the first time, please do like, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Okay, moving on to today's episode, we are having the exercise of class 9 mathematics NCRT book. Okay, so first exercise, uh, the chapter deals with number systems and the first one we are, we studied last class, how to find rational numbers between any two given numbers. So, we will be moving on to the exercise. The first question is, is 0 a rational number? Can you write it in the form P by Q where P and Q are integers and Q not equal to 0? In short, we need to say that whether Q is, a, whether 0 is a uh, rational number or not. So, 0 is a rational number. Yes, the answer for the first question is yes. Why it is yes? Because 0 can be written as 0 by 1, 0 can be written as 0 by 2 with any denominators. 0 can be written with any denominator. So, and see the, uh, so where the denominators where p and q are integers, obviously p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 because here q is not equal to 0. So, definitely 0 is a rational number because it can be written of the form 0 by 1, 0 by 2, 0 by 3 and it goes on. So, this is your answer for the first question. So, the answer for the first question is yes, 0 is a rational number and the reason because it can be written of the form p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0. Now, your second problem is uh, find 6 rational numbers between 3 and 4. As you did in the second method, we can move on with the second method. What is that? You have to mark this 6. 6 plus 1 will give you 7. So, you need to write 3 in terms of 7. So, 21 and uh, uh, 4 in terms of 7 becomes 28. So, you instead of 3, you have 21 by 7 and instead of 4, you have 28 by 7. So, your rational numbers between them becomes 21 by 7, 22 by 7, 23 by 7, 24 by 7, 25 by 7, 26 by 7, 27 by 7, and this is your question. So, how the rational number 6 rational numbers between 3 and 4 are this is the final answer 22 by 7, 23 by 7, 24 by 7, 25 by 7, 26 by 7, 27 by 7 and the last one 4. So, these are the rational numbers between 3 and 4. They asked for 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 rational numbers between 3 and 4. Now, this is the answer. Moving on to the third problem. The third problem is find 5 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. Just now we did with whole numbers. Now, we have rational numbers. So, 3 by 5. Now, what we are going to do is the easiest method is uh, to make the denominators equal. So, easiest method you multiply by 10 the numerator and denominator that is the easiest method that does not mean that that is the only method. If I am uh, multiplying it by 10 it becomes 3 by 5 into 10 into 10 that is equal to 30 by 50 and 4 by 5 into 10 into 10 will be giving you 40 by 50. So, they have asked for 5 numbers, we can get plenty of numbers between 30 by 50 and 40 by 50. It is not that if I do with 6 also, it will be coming. See, 3 by 5 into 6 into 6, 18 by 30 and 4 by 5 into 6 into 6, that is equal to 24 by 30. So, you, need, you can write numbers between 18 by 30 and 24 by 30. What are they? 19 by 30, 20 by 30, 21 by 30, 22 by 30, 23 by 30. So you can write that. But the, because the multiplication of 10 is easy, you can use this method. You can multiply with any numbers, but you need to see that you get the 
correct numbers what it is asked for so according to that you need to do so now instead of 3 by 5 you have 35 30 by 50 and instead of 4 you have 4, uh, 4 by 5 you have 40 by 50 so instead of 3 by 5 30 by 50 instead of 4 by 5 40 by 50 so you'll be getting uh, 31 by 50 the five rational numbers i am writing your answer so your answer will be 31 by 50 32 by 50 33 by 50 34 by 50 35 by 50 1 2 3 4 5 okay you have many you can write any five that's your answer maybe you can simplify it is or simplify it and you can write the answer so this is the answer for the five rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5 moving on to the fourth question it's a true false question uh, every natural number is a whole number that's your first question every natural number is a whole question so whenever when uh, that's where the number line should come into your mind so number line the uh, first uh, uh, first set of numbers we studied was uh, natural numbers and then comes the whole numbers with 0 then comes the integers with positive integers negative integers then comes the uh, rational numbers so the order is will be like this the first one is n then it is w then it is z then it is q you should remember that so q contains all these number natural numbers whole numbers and integers are in rational numbers and in integers these both are there in integers natural numbers are there in whole numbers so it's inside each so this ra uh, rational numbers contains all the three sets of numbers so we'll just keep it in mind so every natural number is a whole number so every natural number is a whole number it is true because whenever you take any uh, natural number obviously it is a whole number so the first one is true because uh, if you if i am taking example you can give an example a 2 is a natural number and is also a whole number. Okay. The second one every integer is a whole number. So, every integer is a whole number. Now, when you are taking integers, you have negative integers, positive integers and 0. But in whole numbers, you do not have that left side. So, uh, every integer is a whole number is false. Because uh, example you can give, negative 2 is an integer. but it is not a whole number because whole number starts from 0 1 to the right so this example you can give it for the second one and the third one what is the third one uh, every rational number is a whole number again it is a false because rational numbers are of the form p by q and whole numbers are numbers so, uh, rational numbers is a whole number, it is false, you can write any rational number that is um, you can use 2 by 3, 2 by 3 is a rational number, but it is not a whole number. So, this is the answer for the fourth question. So, we did all the four questions from that exercise 1.1 and that's it. I will be continuing with this chapter in the coming videos. Please guys do like, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you and bye.